Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to another Driving on the Road uh, car vlog. I'm gonna swing you down by the creek here. It hasn't, I mean, we've had sprinkles, but it hasn't dumped rain in a while, so the, it's probably gone down. But I thought it'd be cool to see what the, uh, the old creek's doing, even though I'm not on the motorcycle. And guess what we're driving by? A cedar mill. Should have the window down, but I'll make a bunch of noise in the. Oh, look at that crane lifting the stuff up. But anyway, um, haven't gone down here in. Geez. The venture video that I made, that's the last time um, I've. Well, I guess I drove the shop truck home through here one night, but I didn't use that vlog. Um, but it was the night night before uh, the International Motorcycle Show. So I drove down here in the pitch black dark in the shop truck. Just because, for whatever reason, it's just been, been this thing here lately that there's a lot of traffic through here. I, I can't figure out why. I mean, it's never in all the years been this way. Now all of a sudden, what the heck but anyway there's a bunch of cars passing me and cars behind me so I I took Smoky Valley and came through this way just to uh, get out of the traffic but as you can see the typical um, you know Halloween storm came um, it actually started on Halloween that was uh, if you listen carefully to the radio that was playing on that RT special series at the show You'll hear the guy in the Portland radio saying this is the first time in five years that it's rained on Halloween. So we've been really lucky for, for quite a while to have a dry Halloween. But uh, the rain's actually started on Halloween. In fact, that's the flooding and stuff when I was leaving the show. So uh, that typical storm that usually hits mostly the day after Halloween actually hit on Halloween. And... uh we had wind warnings and actually the the warnings were more severe up north here than it was down south in, in Portland so what I want to do here oh great this guy's pulling over god damn it and he's like some official god dang it well I'm not going to show it because he's some Oh, it's not doing anything. Oh, it's definitely fuller. But, I don't know what this guy, if he's a game warden or a police officer, he's of some official capacity. What I was gonna do is pull over on the wrong side of the road and stick the camera out. But, what I, ooh, look, a tree was down here. See where they hacked it up and got it out of the way. I was gonna pull over on the wrong side of the road and stick the camera out the window. This is not really a good place to park. Where he parked is about the only good place to park. So, uh, it was a little higher and it's turned murky. But, uh, we'll, we'll get more, more views of that. So, taking a back road in the car today instead of a motorcycle or a spider. So I still, uh, I keep meaning to ask, because usually, usually the GM sends me uh, shipping notices when uh, when spiders are coming. So one of two things, either there's nothing coming yet, <laughs> or uh, he forgot to send me a shipping notice. So uh, I'll ask him about that today, he should be there today. Um, what the ETA is on the 16 showing up. I think the uh, the rumors I'm hearing is, is because what beer, oh another tree fell that somebody cleaned up. A random kid standing on the side of the road. Nothing odd about that. <laughs> it's weird when you see people just out and about doing random things on some little country back road, you know. 
I mean, granted, there are, you know, like here, there is there is a house, but they're they're pretty few and far between. So it's really odd when somebody's just randomly walking around. Oh, that was part of that vlog when I was driving the truck home too. There were some, uh, and I would show it, but you can't. All you see is a figure as I pass by it because it was pitch black dark. But um. Oh, there's some trees that just don't turn colors. They just turn brown. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about that. They're, I call them, well, junk trees. Or, nah, I've got other words for them. <laughs> just because the fall comes and they just go from green to brown. There, there's no, no pretty colors. And you can see most of the pretty, really bright colors are all gone because the between the rain and the windstorm, the rain wets the uh, leaves down, and then uh, you know the leaves are about ready to fall anyway, but they're not falling naturally on their own, so they get wet. The wind blows like crazy, and it just uh, it rips them all off and knocks them down way too quick. So it goes from you know just about peaking and and being pretty, and then wham, they're all gone. That's that farm out there that I drive by a lot. You guys probably don't see. Let's see if I can capture his entrance here. Big old farm. He's got a huge house up on the hill up there. I would try to zoom, but uh, it'd be hard to zoom. Looking out this side window, the uh, the picture quality is crap. And uh, the the side windows are tinted. And it's creating like a uh, like a double vision kind of a thing. It has an echo to the uh, to the visual. And I mean, you see that with your naked eyes looking out the window. Everything has this weird double vision look to it. So horrible for taking pictures. But I like the tint. I love when a porch wraps around a house like that. Kelly and I. Our plan is to uh, build a new house right right where ours is sitting now and uh, build it to her and I's liking. You know, build our own house, so to speak. I mean, obviously, we'll start with some kind of an initial plan and, uh, and alter it. Or you never know, you might find a house plan that's just. You guys ever looked? at house plans I even remember you know in the 70s my parents because uh, they built a couple of houses in Texas and um, oh my lord there is no end I mean each like each contractor has their whole list of homes and then uh, I don't know where my dad was getting all these things but man they spent forever going over house plans and it was crazy and back then there was no internet so everything was all done with uh, blueprints and and hand drawings so you, you had to you had to use your imagination of course the house house plans you could see what's going on from there hey look I actually have uh, three quarters of a tank of gas I won't have to uh, start my day by look at that a little patch of blue up there I won't have to start my day with uh, hitting a gas station, but uh, she'll be on empty, or she'll be less than a quarter of a tank when I get home tonight, most likely. A big old flag with an eagle on top. Look at that watchdog out there. Ooh, we've got a couple of them. They build, I think, pallets and containers and such. Big. Everything's about lumber up here in the northwest. It's kind of what what made this place become what it is. Was all the ooh, the stator. The hell's a stator doing going down a county road? But uh, anyway, I uh, didn't mean to. To rattle on about 
trivial things. <laughs> That's what I do. I just, I start and just can't stop. I can't stop. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm approaching the, the freeway entrance here, so I will uh, see what kind of cool stuff we have at work. And and I uh, always hope every day that I got some cool stuff to film. I should just film stuff anyway, because what I think is cool or not cool, you guys may think is just awesome and love it. And maybe you just like, would like me to just bop on and just show you whatever I'm doing. It's kind of what I'm thinking, so maybe, maybe I'll try that today. But I get so, so many customers and stuff, like coming and visiting and talking and asking and then employees asking questions and it just seems like I'm going, going. Maybe not working on stuff all day, but I'm busy all day, it seems like. But anyway, I am rolling on the on-ramp to the freeway, so this is where I'm going to take the opportunity to say bye. So we'll see what we can come up with at work today. All right, see you guys. We'll flash to work here. All right, we'll see you. This is way cool. I show up this morning and freaking spiders waiting for me everywhere. There's even some out, out in the hallway out there. <laughs> it's like summertime here. Good thing I don't have arachnophobia because I am covered in spiders. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. I got something special for you. You remember this bike? Well, this is Glenn. Hey. This is a nice gentleman that, that purchased it. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. So they asked him, he gave me the okay Thank to put you. him on camera right quick. So. All right, that's a good thing. Got my new backrest on here. Yep, he's already been out riding her. Go. Already adding accessories to her. Yeah. So uh, this is the nice gentleman I've been talking about. Put Thank a you. put a face to the name. That's right. We'll see you guys. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Nice safe. I hope I didn't completely muck that up. I was I was nervous as a first kid in his first day at school, but. I got him in the in the thing. I don't know why I was nervous. Friends with him, known him for years now. So, anyway, I hope that came out okay. Let's see ya. Back to work. I got tons of spiders to work on. And like I say, there's more out in the showroom. So, I'm a busy boy today. I gotta go. See ya. Well, it's been dry all day today. Now that it's time for me to leave, <laughs> it's dumping. We still got that lake out there. But I uh man, there was tons of stuff I could have filmed today, but I just got behind and was trying to get stuff done and just didn't have time to stop and pick up the camera. So uh anyway, let me let me get going here and we'll chit chat about this, that and the other on the way home here. So uh we'll see ya. This is going through the little town of Kalama. Kalama, Washington. Starting to sprinkle a little bit again. But traffic's going smoothly. No complaints. Alrighty, that was Kalama. This is going through uh, Kelso, Washington. We're not seeing much over here. The mall and stuff out that way. This is basically off the freeway attractions, so to speak. That's just a small piece of it. It's what you see from the freeway. much to see from here. The rain's pounding down out there. But this is a uh, like the freeway off ramp of uh, Castle Rock, Washington. And kind of like Kalama and Kelso, this is kind of basically the freeway access stuff. Not a whole lot going on right off the freeway. Uh, to the left or to the west of me is uh, downtown Castle Rock, which is more to that but uh, for the freeway that's it that quick you're in you're out 
<laughs> well, that was pretty much my day today. There's an old 2000 Indian, one of the old Gilmore Indians, that's a like a custom frame with an SNS motor with Indian fenders is all it is. I don't really consider it an Indian. I guess it is for the brief period that they existed. But uh started out as a simple starter issue. One of the other guys put a starter in it now it just doesn't start. Had it narrowed down to a failed uh, uh, starter relay which is really weird that this would just magically go bad but I tested the relay is not working. So uh, anyway got the new relay put the relay in today and when he was putting the starter in somehow or another he knocked the or was it tied or something in the the uh, neutral switch the wire to go into the neutral switch on the transmission got knocked off so I thought that's the reason get that fixed now I have neutral light still good starter button nothing verified the starter switch is fine anyway I, I wanted to film some of that that's that one if you remember in the video two different videos I'll walk up and I'd say why the poor sucker that gets to work on that and then the next video was I'm the poor sucker that gets to work on that because it's Harley like it's not a Harley it's a Harley clone it ain't nothing no part of that a Harley but uh, I think just one never-ending nightmare after another we should take something like that in I mean we're an Indian dealer but we're not that Indian dealer we can't get parts can't get any technical I mean that company doesn't exist it had the Indian name on it but that's just it it was a name heritage there's old heritage but it don't exist anymore just a name it keeps getting passed around like a bad penny but uh, at least Polaris has got a hold of it now and doing a fantastic job but that doesn't help me with it with a 2000 basically backyard custom you know but anyway I wanted to film some of that but it was frustrating me and kind of filming that was the last thing on my mind so it's still on my bench I think I have people showing up in the morning so I'll probably get rolled off but if not I'll try to uh, I'll try to film some of that now I got an ST that needs a service got a throttle body set that's going on a 2010 That'd be interesting to film some of that. Put a set of throttle, put a throttle body. It's two bores, but one throttle body set on a 2010 RT. I think it's the RT um, AC audio and convenience. But uh, anyway, that stuff for tomorrow. Plus whatever appointments I, I've gotten behind by working at the Longview store yesterday and. Um, some there was a confusion I had appointments set for yesterday even though I wasn't supposed to be there um, so anyway a little backlog which seems really weird for winter to be like in a panic to get stuff done but I'm literally in a panic to get stuff done so in that rush and getting behind today and so I apologize for the lack of filming um, I'm sure there's nothing more boring than me driving down the road <laughs> staring at a at a camera you know with with lights with the you know map lights on you know or a map light on just got the one on but anyway so I'm sorry there was a whole lot to this vlog but you got to meet Glenn the guy that bought the 2015 RTS special series that was cool seeing him again and uh he's such a nice guy i just love that guy just you never i mean he's always in such an upbeat just cheerful mood and i love people like that so i appreciate you guys watching for for what was there and uh i'll try to do better tomorrow so i want to thank you guys immensely for watching all right i'm a little intersection here and uh we'll come up with whatever we can tomorrow so until then you guys have a wonderful wonderful day
we'll see you now. Bye-bye. Take care.